period of abundance for the herds of elephants is the time after the rains when the water rises to the surface and Amboseli turns green again. The last reliable census taken in Kenya counted a population of 19,000 in the entire country, of which over 700 lived in Amboseli, making it the park with the highest number of elephants in all of Kenya. Staying cool is one of the elephant's primary objectives. Their anatomy and physiology are adapted to withstand very hot environments. The elephant has a very reduced external surface in comparison with its weight, which means that it needs adaptive mechanisms to help it release body heat. Their ears are one of these. They are large, narrow and very vesicularized. The elephants move them constantly to cool their blood and act as heat regulators. Elephants play an important role in the ecosystem where they live. They're one of the few animals capable of modifying their surrounding environment which can cause serious environmental problems, and their activity is followed by that of many smaller species. In the savannah, a dispute is about to occur. A dung beetle has been working with some elephant dung, managing to obtain an easily transportable sphere. But like everywhere, there is always an opportunist who, protected by its strength, prefers to save himself the work and rob the sphere of dung straight away. Dung beetles, which, like their name suggests, feed on dung, dig a gallery under the sphere where they have built or stolen and carry part of the excrement inside to deposit their eggs on. They generally bury much more dung than they are able to eat and thus render a very useful surface in removing and burying it because this promotes the return of nitrates to the soil. In this way, both the elephants and beetles are beneficial to their habitat. Ambroseli has always been an area where elephants have found protection. The Maasai tribe kept poachers at bay, and since the creation of the national park, the wildlife department guards the herds. Consequently, Ambroseli is one of the last places in Africa where the elephant population is intact. The families have members of all ages, from newborns to matriarchs more than 60 years old. And what is even more rare nowadays, there is a large number of adult males between 40 and 50 years old, when in the rest of Africa, few males live beyond the age of 25, since their larger tusks make them the poacher's first target. The powerful tusks of African elephants are indispensable instruments. They are tools for digging the ground in search of water, salt and roots. They are used to remove the bark from trees as an exhibition element, as a defensive or offensive weapon, and as a means of supporting and protecting the trunk. But unfortunately they are made of ivory, which has always attracted the greed of man. About 100 years ago, tusks such as this, more than 3 meters long and weighing up to 102 kilos, could be found on wild elephants from West Africa. Ivory trafficking had existed since historic times, 
But the arrival of new, more modern and deadly weapons caused the elephant populations to drop sharply. In 1980, there were scarcely one million left on the entire continent, and poachers have since killed half of them. In 1988, an average of three elephants a day were lost to poachers. In response to this alarming situation on the 16th of October 1989, the international trading of ivory was prohibited. In July of the same year, in an act designed to call the world's attention to the commitment not to sell ivory, the government of Kenya publicly burned 12 tons of tusks from 3,000 elephants, a $3 million bomb fire which lit up the conscience of half the world.